A few days later. Hey. Hey, Geo. What? I hear you. You've been nice. You've been nice letting me watch how you live, but there's one thing I've noticed and I want to ask about. Do you really like the sky that much? Yeah, I like it. It's like I like the tar the stars twinkling at night and the shooting stars. And I hope just maybe I can see my dad. Sorry, but I'm tired of staring at it. How about you show me something else now? You're so ungrateful. What happened to telling me about my dad? When are you going to feel like it? Meh, who knows. <laughs> oh, Mega, never change. Not that again. Look, what's important now is that you're more prepared when you leave your house. You never know when an Ephemian is going to show. One could drop from the sky onto us now. From the sky, huh? Hmm? What the... Uh... Whoa... I think we, uh, I think we went, oh, ah, damn. I think we went into the wrong Mega Man game. What was that? Be careful. Why, what's wrong? I know, Ephemian, uh, I know an Ephemian with wings just like that. That may well have been. Y you think that was an Ephemian? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Me after a long day of work. Ugh, I'm so exhausted. I'm a fallen angel. Ugh, ow. I knew it. It, wouldn't st it won't stabilize in the air. Ugh. Hey, he took his wings off. Huh? Ugh, y you saw? Oh, uh, yeah. R really Yeah, really. That was so careless of me. Careless? N nothing I, I thought no one came to Vista Point, except at night. A anyway, sorry to have disturbed you. I, I guess my experiment was a failure. Experiment? That wing thingy, right? Yeah, I guess he's not an Ephemian. But more importantly, that thingy looks awfully interesting. Let's go take a look. Huh? Uh, w wait a second. Okay, well, look. Oh my god. Yeesh. Only because you asked so nicely. I yes, what is it? Um, well, I was wondering about your wing thing. Oh, uh, uh, this, it's, uh, it's, um, I call it my flat pack. You have a fucking jet pack with wings and shit, and you call it a flat pack. Fucking, ugh. You need you need to you need to have a consult with your marketing team, okay, buddy? Flat pack? Huh? Uh, please don't stare at it, okay? I, I I don't like it when people do that. I don't like to show people my inventions. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to show it to us. We should let it go, Mega. What a bizarre guy. If we stay here any longer, we'll get in the way. Let's go home, okay? Yeah, it's a little... this guy's a little weird. Looks like I got some mail. Oh, yay. So, anyway, what does he have to say? C could you please stop eyeballing my thing? I it's not nice to spy on others. People's inventions. Yeah, well, sure. Alright, it doesn't do anything. Wait. For some reason, it makes the... the Vesta Point thing change. That's weird. A bench! <laughs> yep, it's a bench, alright. <laughs> oh, I love moments like that. You know what that reminds me? Custom Robo for the GameCube. Like, they could have just had this- there's like a ton of benches in one room. They could have just had the same line of dialogue every fucking time, and instead they make it like this fucking game where he's like, man, I can't believe there's that many benches in here. Like, once you go along to like six or seven, it is fucking insane and I love it. Anyway, uh, I would actually like to check out some more things around here because there might be some HP mems we can get our hands on. Shy, Vista Point was made for people to relax. We and Waves need to take a breather every once in a while, too. Just like humans. Uh, okay, also we can go on that little thing. So anyway, we're gonna have some fun real quick, because, uh... What? What do you mean you'll go home for the day? Fuck off, Geo. You never let me have fun when I want to have fun. <laughs> Why do you hate me, Geo? What? There's a help signal. Oh, is, is that a help signal? What's that? The help signal is basically an SOS signal. It means someone around here needs help. Earthlings calling strangers for help? That's such a foreign concept. 
Well, you're really supposed to go and help, but I don't want to get involved with others. I'm sure someone else will take care of it. I've decided. We're gonna go take a look. I want to see the source of this signal. Hey, wait a second. How come you're the one who gets to decide this? You pushy freeloader. Ah, uh, can it. Your life is beyond boring. <laughs> you wake up, read a book about space, mess with some gadgets, study, and when it gets dark, you stare at some stars up in the sky. You need some variety to spice up your life. I don't need any spice. I won't let you run my life anymore. Stuff it. When I say go, we go. Ow, 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 all right, all right. Jeez, you keep this up and my left arm's gonna be longer than my right. <laughs> I'm imagining that now. Honestly, I kind of expect that with the way that a lot of... Uh, oh yeah, it's the help signal. Anyway, real quick, I didn't actually check that email. Anonymous, I... I haven't lost yet. Echo Ridge, Wave Road, Battle. Yeah. Echo Ridge, Wave Road. Huh. That actually has me a little terrified. Mm. Sorry, I'm debating on whether it's a good idea to save or not right now. Anyway, we'll just go to the- we'll find the help thing and then I can decide from there if I want to maybe start a separate recording for this. Oh, hey! Oh, man. Uh, what's wrong? Oh. Are you here about my help signal? I was playing with my ball and it got stuck in that tree because we can't get it- <laughs> We can't get up there to get it. Yeah, I'd say it's stuck. A place high up. Maybe the flying guy at Vista Point can- Do you know how to get it down? Well, uh, please, I'll give you something in return. Please! Uh, all right. Guess I have to get back to Vista Point. I wonder if he'll help us. You can reach it. Yeah, yeah, just, just fucking jump. Just bump into it. Actually, I remember this cool shit when I was a kid. I was like, the, oh wait, by the way, I want to show this off. School, huh? I love that. <laughs> Every fucking time. Anyway, now there's this cool thing where this kid actually got his ball stuck in the tree. And I, in my infinite kindergarten fucking brain, decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab my backpack and I'm gonna swing it up there. Like, not like throw it, but like just swing it to knock it out of the tree. And it worked, and I felt like such an amazingly smart kid. And that carried with me until around 10 minutes later, in which I lost all of my brain power and became an idiot. Um, because of that truck incident, I'm afraid to cross the street. Yeah. Don't worry, the, the truck goes at only one mile an hour, so we're good. Oh, shit. Still broken down. I can't believe they put the truck over here. I forget, do they keep it here for the rest of the game? Where do they- I swear they move it elsewhere. Huh. That actually kind of interests me. Anyway, we're supposed to go to Vista Point. But I'm just having some fun. Can we, can we go in the big wave yet? Nope. Looks like the store, but it's closed. Yeah, yeah. I was so scared during the truck incident. I wonder what the... what was the cause of all of it? Yeah, well, probably nothing too crazy. You know, it, it was definitely just, uh, just, you know, it, Tesla just needs to work on their automatic cars, that's all. Actually, I think in Arizona was one of the moments where somebody got hit by the... <laughs> hit by a, a car. I think it was the one where someone was crossing the street? I can't remember exactly, but there's something that happened in AZ. Hey, buddy, you want to help me out? Please, I asked you not to look at my things. Huh? You want me to help you get a ball? If I used your invention, then maybe I can... No. But why? This flat pack hasn't been pub uh, publicized, or... Oh, publicly announced yet, so I can't just let you use it. Plus... Plus? N no, nothing. Anyway, my answer is no. Don't look at me like that. No means no. Okay. I guess we don't have a choice. I've got to find something else to use. And why am I doing this for someone else? Geo doesn't know how to... Geo doesn't know how to settle with his problems. Anyway, can I wave for him yet? Yeah, baby! Alright. The the warning was on Echo Ridge, and I, I really just plan on staying in here, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I hope. Because if I die and I have to replay that whole segment again on my own, I'm going to be slightly pissed. You never know what'll happen late at night. Take what happened recently. A boy fused with a strong red bull. Uh, yeah, life strains. Sometimes you just, you know, fuse with a giant red bull. Thank goodness, good, thank goodness it's peaceful again. I was scared. All I, all I, all I could do was cower, but from now on I'm gonna really live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I can't fucking read right now. I used to be so good at it when I did my test recording. Yeah, another small energy. I will fucking take that. And another fire ring, which I already have plenty of. By the way, there's a school. Anyway, any new enemies? Nope, just the same thing. So we're gonna just skip over these guys unless I see something new. 
and wheeze back. Oh, wait, nope. Time to go into this little thing over here. Actually, I might be able to go into the train again. I might be able to find something interesting. There could be some good mems in there. Oops, all swords. Anyway, I'm gonna skip this whole place and even the train if I don't find anything. Actually, we'll talk to this guy first, though. It's an explosion, beep beep, an explosion in the world of art. I being the Renaissance hurts that I am. Pursue the fine arts every day. Ah, it's come. It's coming any day now. The explosion, I mean. Beep beep. <laughs> 200 zenny. I got fucking ripped off. Oh, actually, while we're here, let's look at this guy. Ooh. This transfers property of Tom Dubious. Please do not look. Yep, it is Tom Dubious is his name. I, I can't trust anyone anymore. Someone could be peeking at this data even at this very moment. Ah, who knows? It's probably the government, bastards. Anyway, I wanted to show that off real quick. Because you don't really get to see main characters transfer stuff often. Beep beep, those viruses are gone, right? Are you the person who beat them? Wait a second, person? You are in waves, aren't you? That's a strange shape you have, beep beep. 150 cennies, I got ripped off. Okay, I'm back. I got a collective 350 zenny out of all that, so yeah, worthless. Anything good around here? Nope. I was hoping for something good, but I guess not. I wasn't sure if I could come here. I guess I could in an earlier point in the game, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised I'm not getting anything decent. Ah, uh, yep, that was a dumb on my part. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so let's continue this story along a little bit further. Sorry for going on that detour, I just kind of wanted to do that. I mean, I technically could have done that at an earlier point. Hey, I saw someone flying over there just now. Was that an RC? Technically, we could have saw him a second ago, but uh, yeah. This guy over here is what we actually have to use to help out those kids. Hmm, do you need something? Uh, I was just wondering, what, was that, what that thing was? Oh, this is an RC chapter. Is it remote controlled? Oh, sorry, it's remote controlled? I can use this, um... Huh, what? You want to use this thing to get a ball down? Please? Hmm, well, I just bought another RC, so I guess I can give this old one to you. Really? For a hundred million zennies, that is. What? Ah, just kidding. It's an old RC, so I'll, I'll let you have it for a can of juice, so how about it? There's a vending machine that sells juice just behind the card shop, alright? Well, ain't that nice. This'll be a nice and simple way to get our hands. A thing of juice for an RC car? What a steal. One can of juice is 100 zennies. Bye? Huh, nothing happened. I wonder if it's broken. Probably the work of a virus. What should we do? Let's have a look inside this machine's comm. It might work if we delete the virus. Pulse in Geo. This is more trouble than I bargained for. <laughs> of course, in the world of Battle Network and Star Force, you can't just, you can't even use the fucking toilet without, you know, transforming into your Mega Man or getting out your Mega Man Navi and fucking fixing the damn toilet. Actually, we're already here. Anyway, this is Chase Wind. I wonder if he has anything different. Nope, Propeller Man is what he said. So yeah, that, that's the guy we were making fun of earlier. Anyway, uh, I have to watch out because uh, there could be someone here who wants to kill me. Because someone said he wants a, he wants a fight on Wave Road, and honestly, I'm I'm actually pretty terrified. I must have a lot of money right now. I am actually think I'm gonna go head over and grab myself a good old bag of, uh... Did they catch the culprit? Looks like all the destruction has stopped. Oh, it's nice to have peace and quiet again. Beep beep. Anyway, um, there's really no reason for me to go over here. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go talk to the card shop guy before I finish up with the juice thing, so I will be back in a second. Oh, hey, I didn't... I totally forgot that Gatling pushes back these guys. But that's actually a terrible thing, because now I can't fucking... That actually really sucks, because I wasn't able to hit multiple enemies with the ground wave thing. Oh, fuck me. I knew this was gonna happen. 
Uh, hopefully I don't lose this. Anyway, um, if you explore a nice good point of the game, you'll actually have to refight bosses. This is what I was talking about when I was saying I, if I do some exploring off screen, um, I'd have to probably record it because I'd have to fight enemies. Um, I don't know if you can actually run away from these ones. Actually, I'll look it up real quick because if I can run away, I might actually do that so I can fight this guy at a later point. Well, I didn't find anything, so uh, hopefully I don't fuck this up. Um, hmm, how am I going to do this? I want to take advantage of the times two with this card, so I think I'm going to wait until he punches with that one. But anyway, they should be exactly the same. They just have more health and are usually maybe a little bit faster and tougher. Yeah. Times ten, bitch. Fuck off. Yeah, do that. I just have to make sure to get the shield ready when he does the one attack. Honestly, I don't want to waste my thing. Good. Come on, come back and... Oh, oh damn it. I might die here. Oh god, this was not what I was looking forward to today. Mm, I definitely need health. Damn it, I don't want to have to use a sword yet, though. Was that a white sword or a long sword? That was a white sword, okay. Ah, oh, why did I waste that there? I'm getting nervous. Fucking, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am so fucking nervous right now, you don't even know. Right. Honestly, the perfect... no. If I can shock him... Yeah, perfect, perfect, fuck off. Alright, he's almost at half health. That's good. Is this longsword? Okay. Damn it! I was hoping that would work. Good. Damn it. Fuck, I'm nervous about this. Just because if I lose, you do just die. You don't just start over or do something else. You have to start back from your previous save, and I don't want to have to... I mean, I, I could end the episode here, but I, I don't want to and have to restart again at this point. That would be dumb. I think the ground... it's a good idea to take advantage of the ground waves right now. Oh! I don't know how I've not gotten hit yet by that yet. Yes! Fuck off, bitch. Usually you can counter these guys. I don't know why it's not working here, but you can counter them. Ooh, I have a white sword. Fuck off. Come on, fuck off, bitch. Suck my dick, Taurus Fire. Ugh. I was so fucking nervous there, but with that... We get ourselves the Taurus Fire card. So, uh, if you played Mega Man Battle Network, this these kind of cards are kind of commonplace. Basically, uh, you have a different folder of cards that's your M cards. Actually, is it? Is it a different? I swear it's a different folder. That might just uh, that might be a different one. Okay, I guess it's not. But you can only have a certain amount of M cards in your deck. Basically, it stops the fight, and then we get to use the card, and it just kind of does an attack, and it's basically unavoidable for the enemy. It is extremely fucking useful. Uh, I can't believe I almost... Uh, <laughs> I was really pushing it there. I'm like, I could do this. This will be fun. So anyway, I do know uh, there are two extra forms of those boss fights in terms of what you can encounter out in the field. Uh, you have the one we fought right there, and I believe after you defeat those ones, there's also an SP form, which is has a lot more health. Um, I don't know if there's a point you have to cross before you can fight them, but just keep that in mind if you're playing this game. Save often. Um, I'm not because I'm doing the Let's Play, like I said, so... Actually, well, perfect chance to use this Power Bomb. Tio, you could have thrown it slightly backwards and you'd be fine, but you didn't want to do that because you're a jerk. Come on, Geo, use, use your fucking head. Anyway, I'm going to get myself my stuff, and uh, unless I show the Taurus card, I will be back inside of the refrigerator. Oh yeah, I guess I should show this off. Um, I think I will go with Jet Attack, just because it is a nice card, and I think it'd be nice to show it off. And I will get another HP Mem, because honestly, I I crossed... Oh, he's out of him now. Huh. But I just realized, I crossed the spot. I should have got it before I went into the boss fight. That would have been the much... Because I figured it was going to be down there. Though now I'm going to look up where all of them are before I do this. Um... 
Honestly, the, the cards are... The swords are kind of messing with me. Like, don't get me wrong, they're powerful, great cards. But the problem with them is that if you fuck up, you... You know, it's so easy for you to get hit by enemies. It's a, it's a risk-reward kind of thing. And in situations where you don't want to get hit at all, it's kind of something you don't want to have to do. Well, that regular Taurus fight was kind of boring, so I'm actually kind of happy I, I fought that fight here. And it was actually a, <laughs> as intimidating as I thought it would be. <clears throat> Geo! If you threw it a little bit more forward, we wouldn't have had- Oh, wait, we got the Taurus card! Okay, so I'll show it off here. Actually, I should have done it in the middle. But Taurus appears, the, the field is frozen, and he hits a certain amount of squares on top of the field. If I did it in the middle, I believe he would hit all of either the nine? Yeah. I think he would hit all six squares in the back and then the one in front of him. So yeah, those are what those cards do. Um, it's basically the same thing as the battle, uh, the the Mega Man Battle Network series. I forgot. You usually get the more out of combos and stuff. Hey, I get to show it again. Nice. Actually, I don't know if he'll appear here. If he is in the way, like if there was a monster in front of where he was right now, he would not spawn. Though that animation takes way too long. And I got another Taurus Fire. Jeez, this game's just giving me that. So anyway, this is probably where a lot of people might not like the game because it kind of kills the spacing, but I tell you right now, it is nice just to have a I'm gonna do damage card, and this will be very helpful for future boss fights. <laughs> oh, there's the virus. You were right, EM viruses. Alright, Geo, don't get careless now. Um, I think after I fought... Fuck, I don't even care about these big-ass cannons. After I fought that stupid Taurus fire, I think I'm good to go. And no, that's a long sword. Fuck, I thought it'd be a wide sword. Uh... I can't really do anything, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, look at that. Look at that fucking luck. Got that horizontal attack going at the end there. Good going. Us one, EM virus is zero. You think this fixed it? Hmm, guess we should pulse out and check out the vending machine. What the fuck else do you think happened, Geo? I would check out the rest of this place, but I already checked it out earlier, so I don't really think there's a point to it. I do think certain blue ones can respawn with better health and... Uh, not health, but, like, better, uh, like, money and cards, but for the most part, I wouldn't worry about doing it often. Oh, a drink came out. Geo got the juice. This guy's like, oh, guess the kid doesn't care, you know, a fucking juice for an RC helicopter. Come on, kid, hurry the fuck up. Oh, you're back with my juice. Here's the RC, just like I promised. This type needs a card to work. Use it well. Yep, we got the RC Chopper. Arnold Schwarzenegger would be so happy with us. Get to the chopper! That was a horrible impression, by the way. I just, I just, I just wanted to reference it. Anyway, time to go over here and get the stuff settled. Oh, wow. I, oh, I didn't realize. The further you go away... That's interesting. I never paid attention to that before. The game never really tells you that. Interesting. Good to know for the future. Okay, let's give this a whirl. So anyway, we actually have to use the navvies for this part of the game when we use these certain things, which is kind of interesting. Propeller card in. Oh, sorry, propeller card, card in. Yep, and as you can see here, we actually have a different screen on the top screen. Let's spin some propeller and fly RC style. W what's that? Hey, Geo, put on your visualizer for a second. Huh? Yep, he is the one pushing it around, which is honestly really stupid when you think about it. Hey, there's someone there. He looks just like the guy on the Navi card. Is that Propeller Man? Whoosh, whoosh, propellers are a go. He's being projected from your transfer. He's probably here to help control the RC, which is really stupid when you think about it, but whatever. <laughs> Why can't it just, you know, be controlled with radio waves? Would that be cool? No, they're electromagnetic waves. Never mind. I was about to say, wait, is that what they do? Also, if you notice, Omega is not on the top left thing over anymore. It's now Propeller Man. Hmm, that's neat. EM waves can work like that too? Huh. Okay, let's get flying this thing a try. Alright, so now we actually get to control. Actually, I don't know how much we get to mess around in town. I guess we get to do a lot. Oh, did we go too far? Oh, okay, no, we're good. We actually get to have some fun here, so that's kind of nice. Though we don't get, just get to do this whenever, so... Actually, I wonder if we can glitch out this part of the game. That'd be kind of interesting. Alright, I couldn't do anything, so we're just gonna go knock this fucking ball out. Oh, come on. Come on, Propeller Man. You can do this. Don't make me have to bust out the stylus. There we go. Got it. Again, that was a little minigame, and it was stupid. 
Don't tell me it's not stupid, because it is stupid. Thank you, please take this. Geo got HP Mem 10. Eh, 20 would have been good, but whatever. Rats. We spent more time here than I thought. We'd better hurry home. Come on, Geo. You got to fucking fight Taurus Fire again. You got R you got a fucking RC helicopter, and he's like, uh, they spent my Oh, Mr. Boreal! Actually, oh, I was gonna wonder if uh, Omega has said anything. I see, I see. Very, very interesting. It's that guy. Hmm, but I wonder where Tom went off to. He's taking an awful long bathroom break. So if you don't remember, this was the guy in the beginning of the game who knew our father. Well, well, what do we have here? Mr. Boreal is honestly a pretty cool dude. If it isn't little Geo, how you doing? Hi, Mr. Boreal. I'm here today on business, but I'm sure you heard about the rash of incidences, right? You know, where red things are being broken? I was curious, so I stopped to see the truck that was involved in the whole affair. Huh? Oh, for a second there, I thought Gio was just being nervous. Oh yeah, that's right, this guy's name was Tom. S sorry I took so long. That sure took a while. I was beginning to wonder if you had fallen in. <laughs> uh, fucking boomer humor, man. Huh, well, um... Hey... It's that guy from before. You know him? Um, actually... What? You performed an experiment all by yourself? Y yeah, that's when I met this boy. Hmm, I see. You always did experiment by yourself. It seems kind of reclusive, don't you think? I would help, you know. Just say the word. Um, don't worry about me. Let's just hurry and check out the truck. Well, Gio, let me formally introduce you. This is my assistant, Mr. Tom Dubious. He used to work at NASA. Just like me. Used to? Hmm. Oh, well, there was a small problem and... Anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people got fired after that whole space station incident. Like, if it were to happen in real life. Well, actually, I don't know. Did anybody lose their job after the Challenger thing happened? I'm, I'm actually, actually curious about that. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> How's school going, Gio? Are you going? Oh, fucking... <laughs> You ruined- you ruined a good thing. I... um... I see. Alright, how about this? Why don't you come down to my lab tomorrow? Oh, but why? I think it'd be a good change of pace for you. So, what do you say? Um, that's... Tomorrow's a holiday, so it's perfect. Glad we settled that. Oh, fucking settling it in. I don't want him to care about me. I'm... I'm... Doesn't it sound like a ton of fun, kid? We can test out how much about- oh. How much he knows about space. I know, right? Omega Sys knows, because he fucking traveled it. Oh, no. The nerd. Haha, <laughs> I heard all of it. Now to report everything to the press. These fucking kids. Oh, can we move now? Okay. I'll be waiting for you tomorrow. Ah, uh, thanks. Ah, uh, goddammit. Of course the old man's back now. Anyway, what do you got to say, Tom? Uh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Come on, let's go on back home. Let's get some rest. Yeah, I do think it's a good time to call it quits for today. Man, it's only been an hour and eight minutes. That's actually kind of surprising. What do you have to say? Use the RC with care, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna go fly it into some fucking electrical... You know, fly it into something like... Actually, no, these guys probably don't have power lines anymore. Damn it. The world has been ruined. Anyway! A small TV, small compared to other uh, TVs, blah, 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 yeah. Uh, actually, have we checked out this thing after I turned it on? I will go go into that real quick, because I'm actually curious, because I don't think I turned that on last time. And I think this would be a good time to get it checked out before I call it quits for today, so I will be right back. Especially because I don't know how much cutting I might have might have to do for this episode. It says an hour and eight minutes, but it's more than likely going to be a hell of a lot less, because I did a lot of cutting here. Which is honestly a really good thing, because I used to not cut at all during these moments, and honestly, I really need to. <laughs> Though I should say, uh, when I was doing some research for the last episode, for some of the fact-checking some of the things I was talking about, it turns out that the Battle Network uh, fan base doesn't hate Star Force anymore, at least from the sound of it. I think it was just more of during that time period, because, you know, losing out on possible franchise kind of sucks. You know, like, I, I could maybe feel somewhat the same if maybe someone was like, oh yeah, you're not getting any... Dark Cloud anymore because fucking level 5 wants to focus on Nino Kuni and other such things, which, you know, 
would annoy me, but honestly, I'm kind of over it, so whatever. Oh, here's the jet card. I will show that off real quick. So basically, Geo just kind of charges forward. It works out pretty well, actually, because he goes pretty fast. And it is a piercing attack, so he can hit multiple enemies, unlike some other cards. But anyway, I wanted to kind of point that out in the actual episode instead of being text, so I will not complain about the Battle Network fans as much. Especially because after I'm done with the series, I would actually very much like to maybe... I don't know about doing blind, but I'd like to get into the Battle Network franchise, because I've only ever really played five. Anyway, he's just talking about math and stuff, which I really don't care about. I'm sure it has charm, but I don't care right now. Oh, here we go. What do we got? HP Mem, please? Oh no, a large energy. Actually, I will take that. I believe that gets you 100 health? Something like that. Alrighty then, guys. Uh, there's not much else to do now. Um, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session of Mega Man Star Force Dragon. It was a little bit more fun. We had our four first FMian boss fight. Which was honestly a lot of fun. We probably have a lot more to go from here on out, but we're meeting some new cast of characters. We're going to fucking... Uh, I was about to say we're going to NASA tomorrow, but actually no, we're going to the laboratory that Mr. Boreal works at. How did I go to level 9 already? These levels do not make any sense to me, so... <laughs> anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this session. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.